Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show. Hello, welcome back. Thank you very much. You were waiting for me to say that, weren't you? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I just wanted to feel missed. <laughs> We're starting with some mountaineering news and news of a very scary sounding crevasse fall. Simone Moro and Tamara Lunga were attempting a winter link up traverse of Gashabrum 1 and 2 in Pakistan. They had spent weeks negotiating the labyrinth of crevasses above base camp and had thought they were out the worst of it. However, suddenly a 50 centimetre crevasse opened underneath Simone, who fell around 20 metres. Luckily, Tamara helped manage to arrest the fall and prevented Simone from plummeting further. Writing on his Facebook page, Simone talks in depth about the next two hours and how he managed to exit the crevasse. Badly shaken, they return to base camp with Tamara's hand injured and numb. Simone has organized an evacuation so the pair can have medical checks and it's unclear at this time if Simone intends to return to the mountain this season. Simone seems all about the winter ascents. He's mm -hmm. kind of trying things that are usually done in summer, like there's links like those traverses, but in the depths of winter, which obviously makes things more dangerous and uh, it sounds like he was lucky to get away with that one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like 50 centimeters was the crevasse he fell in. Yeah. You'd think with all his padding and stuff like that, he would have just like stuck there like Homer Simpson, but maybe he lost a bit of weight up the mountain. <laughs> yeah, true. Or, or possibly because it might have been short, like small at the top and then opened up underneath a little bit. Even worse. Yeah, but the uh, do go on his Facebook page and read that right up. Also his Instagram, we've got some beautiful pictures. Uh, so check that out. It sounds, yeah, super scary. He's a major sucker for punishment. Yeah, absolutely. Right, next up, we've got some sport climbing in France. 20 year old French climber Hugo Paramontier has kicked off his 2020 with a hugely impressive ascent of the Adam Andrew Eagle 4 at Saint Léger near Grenoble, France. As reported by Planet Gramp, Hugo, who has a great name, has climbed in the French climbing team and has made the previous ascent of Trip Tectonic 9A, started working the route last autumn. And this was his 25th day working the route, first ascended by Adam Andre in 2018. Planet Gramp wrote an article a couple of years ago saying that Hugo was the future of French climbing. Has the future arrived? So Adam Andre first climbed this route in 2018, mm -hmm. really, really hard route, and then Hugo, or Hugo, however you want to yeah. say it, but I think it's Hugo, uh, has managed the first first repeat. Do you, so you said that you think he might be the future of climbing. Are you saying that you are the future of climbing? No, Hugo Paramontier. Oh, I'm, I I'm not Hugo Paramontier. I think you could, you could still... I could be, still uh, if the future is old. <laughs> uh, but I think this guy is, you know, he's right to take the, the crown of Seb Bois. I don't think Seb Bois is going to give it up so easily. Nope. But it's a 9B. 2020 9Bs yes. have kicked off. Very exciting. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, more sport climbing news, this time from Syriana in Spain, and it's getting some serious attention from a young crusher. 17-year-old Hamish MacArthur is more known for his indoor climbing results, and before this trip, hadn't really had the chance to climb on real rock. He managed to send Jungle Speed, AC Plus slash 9A in just two sessions, then to prove it was no fluke, managed a quick ascent of Amuete, AC Plus slash 9A. It's crazy to think of Hamish's potential as he climbs more outside and we reckon he could be a future 9b contender do we i do <laughs> i mean come on the guy is literally like he was like oh school got in the way cramming it in the way don't really climb How outside uh 17. can you imagine like first time climbing outside properly just casually sending 9a there's a uh, there's later on in the show there's a 16 year old french guy who just did a first sent 9a does, does he touch rock for the first time ever uh, this is the first time he's ever touched Yeah, that's rock. what i mean like one of the first times like he just hasn't done it he's one of the indoor. first times yeah but i mean Wow. Hey, we should need to get out more. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up, we got some more news from Spain. After spending the last couple of years concentrating on repeating some of the hardest multi-pitches around, Swiss climber Cedric Lachat has turned his attention to hard sport climbing of late. Back in autumn of 2019, 35-year-old Lachat managed to climb La Rambla, 9A plus in Syriana. And now he has turned his attention to Oliana, where his ultimate goal is a 9B. He has set his sights on Mamichula, the Adamonja route put up in 2017, a route which is made up of Papichulo, 9A+, and Pashamama, 9A+. And he's made his first steps towards succeeding by making ascent of Pashamama, as reported by Fanatic Climbing. We await news of his 9B attempts on Mamichula. So Cedric, uh, I always knew you had it in him. Did uh, you? To get on the 9B counter, and now he's giving it a go. It would be cool, wouldn't it? Like, he's, he's always just been just under that 9B threshold, isn't it? So it'd be cool to see him. He's done a lot of 9As, yeah. now he's done a 9A plus. La he did La Rambla last autumn. Uh, and who knows? I mean, I think he's going to do it yeah. pretty soon. 
it's like it's on. guaranteed. We it's could, we on. Could, we could pencil him in. <laughs> guaranteed. So if you don't do it, I'm going to lose a lot of money. Oh. Uh, Boulder in news now, and two Uber classics have been smashed. The Big Island is a slopey 8C located in Fontainebleau in France. Requiring good friction with huge compression moves, this boulder is a beast. Max Dillon managed to send it, having first tried it in April 2019. This trip, he walked away with a tick on the first session. Despite dropping the final jug, Max won the mental projecting battle, and congratulations to him. The Boulder Dreamtime 8C slash B plus has seen a lot of action recently and Clément Le Chetois has managed to add his name to the list. He tried one style of beta for four sessions before switching things up for the fifth session. With a new foot sequence, he climbed it first go. There's still some debate over the grade, but Clément reckons it's more 8B plus than 8C. Awesome, the 8C counter. I know, if only we had that monstrosity still, but we don't. But we do not. Uh, the, so the Big Island, I'm always thinking like, is there not like a sit Big Island? There is, and it hasn't been done yet. So it was Jimmy Webb's project yeah. for a long time. I yeah. know a few others were trying it, but yeah, it hasn't been done. If you went along and you climbed it, what would you call it? The Matt's Big Island. What about the Very Big Island? Matt's Very Big Island. That's, that works. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next up, we've got some news of some 9As, just generally around the world. News of two 9A ascents reported on by 8A.nu. Firstly, French climber Tanguy Marat has made a first ascent of 9A in Sens, southern France, and has called it Sa Chauffe. Tanguy, who is just 16, has previously climbed two 8C pluses, and so he said this route was harder, so he gave it a 9A. And in Spain, experienced Spanish climber Gonzalo La Rocha has made his 15th 9A ascent of the route Ciudad de Dios in Santa Leña. He spent four seasons trying it and said it's his hardest 9A. So I will see your 17-year-old Hamish MacArthur and I will raise you a 16-year-old French Tongi with a better name. Although Hamish MacArthur is quite a cool name. It's an awesome name. Yeah, so but Tongi Macha is 16. Mm. First is <laughs> 9A. Man. I like the way he's like done two AC pluses and it was like, they, they weren't as hard as this, so I gave it a 9A. I mean, like, it's, it's kind of fair enough. That's kind of fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But it's, the fact is, this is the first set 9A, which is kind of impressive that no matter where of, you go. At 16 as well, that takes balls to say that. Because mm -hmm. like, imagine being like, it's 9A, Andre turns up, yeah. 8B. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, this thing, oh, whatever it's called. You 9B counter Women's thing. 9A thing. Woo! Thanks very much again to the, the, the new Sting there. Do you notice that? It's First time you've seen yeah. it. People say that Flo just doesn't do things very well, but he does that really well. If you want to flow, yeah. uh, uh, follow Flo on Instagram, his name is uh, I don't, I don't oh. It's my hot body, I'll do what I want. Which is a shame, because if he did, he'd be really good. So let us know in the comments below if you want Flo to have an Instagram. It's taken a weird turn, this. But absolutely not. Yeah. Uh, right, who's up? Well, hang on. First of all, in my absence, you my made name. a huge decision that affects our lives for the next year. Okay. Which is you, the are women's you, are you 9A. I'm just saying that I love the trad. You don't love the trad, uh, and all the trad heads out there are going to hate you. A lot of people made a very good point in that uh, the E10 counter mm. doesn't really apply to um, America. Yeah, but there's then, a lot of trad going on. Yeah, but 9B then doesn't apply to Australian grades. It's just, we just there's, convert it. People. There's not many Australians on the 9B counter. Well, no, but you know. I know what you mean, but it's fine. Uh, it's fine. You no British. The trad climb has always gone on about how it's unique and it's special and, and wonderful special and, and it's just yeah. it doesn't compare. So, but regardless, you made the decision. We've got a women's nine A counter, two thousand twenty nine B counter, and yes. we can put someone on it. We could have an E ten counter as well if you wanted. No, it's fine. We can complicate it's it more. I don't, I don't even have care. Have an AC plus counter as I'm well. I'm gonna have it on my YouTube. Channel. I don't care. I quote that from Matt Green. I don't <laughs> even care. Uh, it's fine. Okay, so right, first up, twenty twenty nine B counter. Uh, the first I'm gonna write on this Ooh. is Hugo. <laughs> This guy is definitely feature. Yeah. He's only 20 years old. So one point for him. And then we'll do how to do this. Just, 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 just take over. Uh, now, last couple of weeks, we talked about something exciting, which was giving away, potentially, the 2019 9B counter and the enormous monstrosity that is the 8C counter. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to do it. We're going to give it away to one of two of you lucky guys. So to win either the 9B counter or the 8C counter, yeah. go onto our Instagram. There's a photo of these up now. 
All you need to do is comment below and say, I would like the 9B or I would like the 8C counter yep, yep. and tell us what you're gonna do with it. Now, I don't want like put it in a frame and put it on your wall. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in sort of like put it up in your toilet, maybe your wife's car, maybe your office, maybe your boss's office, maybe just on the ceiling above your bed. I wanna know weird reasons <laughs> that you want the 9B slash 8C counter, but it's not just a giveaway for this. We're also giving away a bag of Seven Sisters Super fine chalk, which Very I love, nice. yeah. and an Epic TV branded bottle. Mm -hmm. Heck of a package there. So let us know if you want the 9B or the 8 counter. Let us know what you're going to do with it. Make sure you're following our account. If you're not following our account, of course you're not going to win. No. And uh, in the next couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, you need to follow. Yeah, you've got to. Follow the YouTube thing as well. Just subscribe. Yeah, subscribe Always. everywhere. Uh, let's get this to 200,000 <laughs> yes. next month. Uh, that is a big, realistic, mm. unrealistic goal. All get pay rises, right? Yeah, when we hit 200,000, we will definitely get a pay raise. Awesome. Yeah, that's my word. Come on, don't bullshit me. Right, that's it. Blockfest is back at the weekend. Yes. Another awesome final. This time at Yonder, uh, we've done a gym tour at Yonder, those amazing brown walls. Absolutely. Cool place to climb. Check out this teaser of the comp. He's gonna pull up, he's on crimps on an overhang. He's not bad at this. He's not great, but, he, but he's not bad. Currently he's forgetting that there's like footholds on the roof there he just doesn't want to use. We'll give him the top, but he only gets like two out of five for style. Two out of five? Two out of five. Two out of five? Yeah. I missed a hold. Yeah. Is that why it's dropped down? Yeah. Right, right you go, I'll wait you. How do I do it? <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't look it, but you get on like that. I knew it. Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna not do that. Great uh, space for a competition. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. And Orion as well, sort of the main athlete in that film, does we, very well. We, he's been featuring quite a lot recently yeah, with hasn't us, hasn't he? he? Yeah, he's, he's a strong boy. He did your thing. Mm -hmm, did uh, that's, thing. That'll be up in the corner somewhere. Matt's going to put that in the corner. Uh, I'm not here Wednesday, so... Uh. <laughs> Hugo will be putting it, it up It is Wednesday, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, shit. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay, right, next up we've got the long-awaited third episode of La Sportiva Living Legends. I don't want to put myself in one discipline or give me a name of like I'm now an alpinist or I'm now a boulder. I think it's just a climber, just like to play in the mountains. That looks amazing. Is it out now? Or when, when? Uh, it's going to be out in the next couple of days. Probably out on Thursday that's or Friday. That's exciting. Uh, if it isn't, it will definitely be out next week. Uh, so just, yeah, I'm just waiting on the go-ahead from La Sportiva. Nice. But, Fabian Bou, man. Not someone I know a huge amount about. He's a very talented, multi-disciplined climber. Uh, so if you want to see what he's up to, go follow him on Instagram, at Fabian Bou or something like that. Matt will pop it up in the left-hand corner, no problem. I mean, I'm seriously not here, I'm, I'm just not. <laughs> uh, next is shop stuff. Uh, and we're uh, shoppy, still shoppy. deep into our winter sale. And now the thing to talk about the winter sale is it's constantly evolving and changing. Yes. So we have put, uh, as of time of recording this, even more discounts on the shop. We're talking like up to almost 60% on some stuff, even higher potentially if you have a look. It's a good time to buy some stuff. It's crazy, crazy amounts of cheap stuff. Mm. Like, I mean, we don't good value. You don't have to. Yeah, good value stuff. Like, you know, we don't encourage like mass consumerism consumption, but it's a good chance to get a good deal. Yeah. Right? Also, if they don't mass consumer and consumption, we, we, we're all going to have a lot of jobs. So they've, they've got to do that. I mean, if you want a pair of climbing shoes, just get two. Yeah. And then you don't have to buy them for the next couple of months. Yeah. Instead. Three or four, then we can go to Australia. Or, or buy like one for each thing, like. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, okay. Thursday, well, Friday. A pair of shoes for each day. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Of the month. Mm. Nice. So thirty pairs of shoes. The only problem <laughs> you're gonna have is that you didn't buy more. You did the show last week, but I've still got a comment of the week for the show. Very good. Yeah. I don't have one. Do you not? Can I have uh, two minutes? Yeah. <laughs> so we need a song. Go. Okay, I'll beatbox. Right. <laughs> comment of the week. It's very good, that. Yeah. It's getting worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. Um, so my comment is from John King. John uh, King? And he simply says, I noticed the great fire 
before I noticed Matt was missing in the last show. <laughs> uh, now, John King, I am a man of a small ego. I don't have need to be recognised and stuff like that. It's fine. But why didn't you recognise me? I'd say fragile ego and no. not small ego. It's not eggshell like. It's, it's fine. Or maybe your confidence is eggshell like. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So it's why John broke my heart. Um, fire! A fire! The fire went out halfway through the show. It was like nice, and yeah. then it went and. Then... It's fine. I'm over it. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, to this one, I kind of like is the opposite end of it, which is quite nice, I think, for you. It says okay. Morrissey. It's from <laughs> Martin Joyner, and it says Morrissey looks a little sad without Tintin. Ah. Oh. There you go. I've always wanted to be Tintin. Yeah, exactly. I own every Tintin book. Really? Yeah, it's fact. Ta -ta. I, you know at the beginning of Tintin books when they got all the faces of the characters? Yeah, who I are used, you? I used to be able to name all the characters' names. Were you Fluffy? <laughs> Fluffy? The dog. S Snowy. Snowy, Come sorry. On. Okay. Uh, that's it. That is it. Apart from we should talk about what I am away on Wednesday doing, which is we're having a day with Petzl. But today's Wednesday. Yeah. I'm away today, okay. Uh, and I'm uh, we're at Petzl, so we're doing like a little sort of tips thing with Petzl. We're looking at their new gear. It's going to be really cool. Yep. Uh, videos to come. When's it coming out? I want dates. A couple times. of weeks, two weeks possibly. Okay. Mm. I'm also going to ISPO this week. Oh yeah. Uh, so, but probably not going to film anything. Maybe yeah. I'd like just like Instagram some stuff. Do that. That'd be cool. Take the highlights. Uh, also, 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 Sasfe this weekend. Ooh. UIA ice climbing comes to Sasfe. Huge underground car park. If you haven't seen it, amazing. I'll be there. We'll be filming. Uh, it's it's a really cool stadium because it curves up over the top. You can run around it, so you can check follow out our the coverage um, from last year. Matt will put it up in the it, corner. It's in the corner. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. All right. And cold. Have fun. Bye.